The following video is intended for adult collectors and is not recommended for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Kato here with Kato's Collection. If this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, please, don't make it your last time. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to let you know I have more stuff coming. If this is your millionth time here, Welcome back and know that I appreciate each and every one of you. Now I'm going to do something different today. I don't do a lot of non-transforming action figures, but with the hit Mandalorian uh, on Disney Plus, I have gotten Mandalorian fever. That sounds deadly. Anyway, I'm going to take a look at Cara Dune, our new favorite shock trooper turned mercenary, right after the intro. Kato. Just like always, the first thing we'll do is take a look at the packaging. Now, I gotta say, I think it's unfair for me to call myself a big Star Wars fan. I'm not. I like the series. I like the show. Uh, but uh, I have fallen in love with The Mandalorian like most of the world. And... I had to get some figures from it. So this is officially my first Star Wars figure that I've ever bought for my collection, period. Um, I will be getting others, and I was glad to find this at Target, and I wanted to take a look at it. So let's look at the box. See the standard Star Wars Black Series uh, framework here on the box with her in her little plastic prison. The accessories shown off there. Gina Carano there on the front. Cara Dune on the side. This is number 101. There you go. Get that in view. I love the red and black uh, style of these boxes. We've got a brief bio there of Cara. If you want to read that, please hit pause. Some artwork there of Gina Carano. And more black there. Nothing and nothing. First up, we'll take a look at the accessories. Um, pretty standard fare. You get her light machine gun some really cool paint there on the tip you can see it's got brown all over with a mix of darker brown or black on the camera it's coming up pretty dark but it's actually like a dark brown and a lighter brown to me at least got the sling here handle double magazine nice let's see if i can get Good close up here nice detail on it it actually is really sculpted well and painted well I love that kind of silver tip there go around to the other side more of the same and you've got the sling here that's pegged in right at the stock you get her little blaster again painted really well actually the silver and brown paint on the grip and you get a blade again some of that kind of gunmetal gray with a brown hilt really nice looking accessories but not very many of them but i don't know that you need many many accessories with this figure as you can see she can hold her weapons pretty well the handgun there in the holster fits pretty well a little little snug but it fits in there pretty well i couldn't find a decent place to put the blade so i think it tucks away pretty well inside this loose belt here light machine gun i've just got it in her right hand and the grip here on that top handle now the one thing is the the strap that goes around her shoulder i'm assuming that it plugs in right here to hold on to but it doesn't really plug that well. So I, it's just kind of laying there, but it gets the point across pretty well. But there doesn't seem to be a good, tight, snug place to put that. So I don't know, maybe I'll put it, try to find somewhere else to put it, unless someone, again, this is my first Star Wars figure from the Black Series. So if there's a place that's supposed to go, please let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah, I think she holds the accessories pretty well. The figure itself looks really good. I think it has a good enough likeness to her and her character to fit the bill. You can see that nice painted uh, rebel 
emblem there on her left eye and the detail in the eye paint is done really well you can actually got a little life to it i think they did a really good job on that face sculpt uh, the hair looks just like it did in the show brushed over on that right side over the collar nice scuff work on the armor coming down this is a separate piece not removable but it is a loose soft rubber piece here on the waist or holster and belt coming down i think they i think the lightness to the show is really good some more scuffed up uh, armor on the knee pad there some canisters maybe on the side of her calf on down to the boots really nice looking sculpt the bend in the boot looks good kind of the bend in the leather of the boot looks really good uh, shoulder uh, shoulder armor here scuffed up I think she looks nice and stocky a little bit of paint rub here on the, or a over spray or over paint on the arm but that's okay uh, more of the armor there the tattoo on her arm just like in the show Re really well done really a fan of the texture in her uh, shirt this belt here is molded on going on down to the side here and I think they did a really good job the holster is like I said the holster and belt is soft rubber the gun fits in there really well and again I had the knife just tucked right inside the back here I think it worked out really well now I'm fairly familiar with Marvel Legends before I got pretty heavy into collecting Transformers Marvel Legends were my go-to so this is very familiar to me as far as that's concerned so let's go over the articulation the head will do a 360 on that ball although you have to be careful because of that high collar here uh, but it'll turn more than you need it to uh, the hair gets out of the way perfectly well uh, it will look down hardly at all up not very much because of that collar in her hair and a little side to side so i'm assuming there's just a typical ball joint under there her arms will go up that far blocked by this armor here and the same thing for the back and forward while that is soft and you can get some upward motion it's pliable you won't be able to go all around or lift straight up over her head i don't feel any kind of butterfly in there uh, I don't feel a bicep swivel, although there is one right at the elbow. Single jointed elbow for a decent amount of bend. You do get wrist swivel and bend at the wrist. And the hands are pretty soft, so you don't feel like you're going to break anything when you pry the weapons in there. Uh, waist rotation, you do get some good squeaky 360 waist rotation. It's actually more of an ab rotation while it doesn't seem to want to pivot anywhere lower than the ab you do get some minor ab crunch forward a good bit of ab crunch back Her legs will go out about that far up about that far they tend to run into everything there and they won't go back very far straight back because of this soft plastic in the booty you do get a cut above the thigh for some thigh swivel. You get a cut at the below the knee for some calf swivel. You get a nice double jointed deep knee bend. And you get some good ankle tilt. And some solid ankle pivot. So you can break the ankle there pretty easily. Here she is beside the first wave Raphael from the Target exclusive two packs. Random size comparison of the day goes to Hellboy. Couldn't even begin to tell you where I got this guy from. And it wouldn't be one of my size comparisons without Poptimus. All right, my final thoughts on Star Wars, the Black Series, Cara Dune from The Mandalorian. Couldn't be happier. My first step into Star Wars and I am thrilled. The articulation is, Limited, but good. Uh, the accessories are few, but great. 
Uh, the likeness to the character is more than acceptable. The paint job on the figure itself, absolutely wonderful. I love it. So overall, more than happy and can't wait to get more. Issues, yeah, like I said, articulation issues, but I'm okay with those. They make sense to me. I kind of wish there was a, a holster or a sheath for her knife, but I also kind of like the idea of just tucking it right away in the belt. I do still wonder where this is supposed to go. I feel like it's supposed to go there, but the rubber here is a little soft, so it's a little iffy to attach there. The minute you put it on there, it wants to come right off. But overall, can't wait to get more. Uh, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little bit of a different review outside of doing Transformers. And I may do a few of these coming up. I know I have uh, a few things uh, in the works that aren't Transformer related. Uh, and I have some pretty good expectations for 2020. I've got a very cool series coming up that I think you guys will enjoy a lot because I know I'm going to enjoy doing it. But uh, on that note, guys, again, please hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, that notification bell to let you know I have more content coming. And uh, as always, guys, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Always play. This is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. It's Kato.